Hey everybody, this is the, the first video of a series I want to make about uh, Silent Hunter 5 and the way I play it. Uh, I'm use uh, a list of mods that you can uh, read up in the description. If you're interested in what they do and how to install them, you can uh, search for the each individual mod on the subsim. Uh, I want as well to emphasize that I'm not an expert in Silent Hunter 5. I have some experience with it, but uh, if this will not be a tutorial, mod, more introduction and uh, showing some features that I use and that are possible to just get you an idea of how you can play it. If you want to have more deep knowledge about uh, various techniques uh, of attacking or whatever, uh, go to YouTube and search there for more experienced players or go to subsim and read up how other players do it. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've played it last, so uh, I do not know all commands yet again. I have to learn uh, various things again uh, to use them really efficient, but uh, it should be okay for the first two things now. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is uh, the harbor pilot. It's rather important. Uh, because w the way I play it, I use real navigation, and if you look at the uh, navigational map, you see that I don't have any contacts. I do not even have my own sub on the on the map uh, anymore. Uh, we are now here in Mimel, uh, Mimel Harbor, and uh, we are supposed to go out there to the Danzig uh, Bay and uh, to sink Polish ships there. That's the beginning of the war, and uh, we can't use the normal vanilla tool anymore where you just click on your sub and you draw a course on the map and the sub will follow. So we don't have this possibility anymore. Uh, but to make it easy for us, we have the possibility of using the harbor pilot, and the harbor pilot will guide us out of the harbor or even guide us through the keel canal. Uh, that's connecting Kiel and the uh, Northern Sea uh, in either direction. So that's very handy because you don't have to take care of that anymore. It's it's painful enough to do it with, uh, with the standard tools. But if you have real navigation, uh, it's just too much work. Uh, so what we can do is we open the window for automatization. It's by clicking onto those, those two wheels. And then we select Harbor Pilot and we uh, search for the harbor that we are in, for our harbor that is Memel at the, at the moment. We select it and we add it to the list of activated scripts, but it's not activated now. Uh, it has red color. You have to click it once again and we press play. And then the Harbor Pilot should take over and uh, guide us out of the harbor. You can use time compression, that is no problem. If there is uh, colliding or uh, shipment, ship traffic that uh, goes in your way, then he will slow down until the situation clears itself. Sometimes you have to take over by yourself and steer around, but it never happened to me. Uh, but that's no problem uh, either, because you can just reactivate the, the harbor pilot again by going to the same window here, clicking it once again, pressing play again. Uh, you just should take note that it will continue with the nearest in uh, harbor pilot Neuer waypoint. Zwei, zwei, so zwei, if this waypoint yeah. lies lies behind you, he will turn around the boat, and uh, this could be problematic in areas where it is uh, narrow and you don't have the the room to maneuver. So. If that happens, you should deactivate the harbor pilot again. Uh, drive by yourself a bit further until you reach a uh, waypoint that is maybe in front of you, and that you can just find out by activating it again and Schiff see if your steers or stays course more or less. Uh, but as I said, I had never problems with that, so it always worked. Neue course, zwei, for, zwei, for my zwei, part. Grad. So now we are here entering, exiting the, our sub pens and we will most likely exit the harbor in the northern direction here. 
There's not much to do anymore for us. We can just go into the sub now and uh, time accelerate and wait until the combo pilot is done. I accelerate time now and uh, as you see sometimes say we were shipping uh, he will slow down, he will make the course corrections and when he's done he will tell us so. Da ist Rauch am Horizont. Kurs 3, 0, 4. Fahrt beträgt 1. Knoten. Fahrt beträgt 4. Knoten. Neuer Kurs 2, 3, 4. Okay, now you see, it says Mimmel Harbor Pilot abgeschlossen. That means he is done with his job. He is out of the harbor. He leaves our boat. And we can, uh, we take our control of the boat by ourselves now, once again. So let's exit the map. We can have a look outside where we are. See, there is the exit of the harbor. We are pointing west and we can now try to start the real navigation feature of our navigator. I had from time to time some problems with it. It wouldn't start right away, but uh, it eventually started all the time, so just give it some time. I don't know what is actually the problem with it, so if somebody knows what I'm doing wrong, uh, if there are some mods that are conflicting, uh, you can Give me a contact, uh, comment in the on YouTube, and I would appreciate it. But uh, as I said, it always worked after some time, so it was not a big deal in the end. Just a bit of annoying. You can deactivate the harbor pilot and move it out of our list. We don't need it anymore. What you want now is the real navigation, position and control. And you see, we have several options. The first one is for battle stations, where you get some and more dense position reporting from your navigator. It gives you position by that reckoning every five minutes. And the others are for on cruise, where you get the position fix every two hours and he, five times a day he will use the celestial fix. There's two types of position reporting you can do, celestial and dead reckoning. Celestial is more precise than dead reckoning, but not always possible. If you have stormy weather, high seas, or if you, have sub if you are submerged, you can't do the celestial and then you have to use dead reckoning. But the more dead reckoning you use, the more unprecise your position will get, so you would need to have a celestial fix in between to uh, correct this error again. Important is as well that you choose the right script. Uh, you have five scripts for different, no, it's actually six scripts for different uh, time periods, and you have to choose the one uh, that matches your current local time. So, as you see, you have it's uh, close to 10 now, local time, and therefore we would need to choose this script here. That uh, that says this 8 to 12 just says you should activate this script if you are if your local time is between 8 and 12. As simple as that. Select it. You activate it here as you did with the hot pilot, and now the navigator says he's. Uh, Calculating our position by that reckoning, and hopefully he, give a he gives us a position fix on our map. Uh, it sometimes takes some time. Uh, I will make, make a time acceleration now. And wait until we hopefully get the position fix. If not, we have to ask him manually again. And maybe we have to start traveling or start uh, going by ourselves. Uh, first, until he starts working. I don't know where the problem is, as I said, if that happens. Yeah, so it's almost an hour ago, and I don't think he has a clue where we are. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just uh, ask him kindly 
to do it manually so we can uh, we can ask go into the menu here just clicking on this face that's the navigator going to report and then you have the option to make a celestial fix if that is possible if the weather conditions do not permit it it will be grayed out or you can uh, say make a position fix by that reckoning I will choose the celestial fix now so he gives us a weather report as well and it should be no problem normally because it's really it's clear weather no fog no winds and uh, just give him some time and see if that works again otherwise we will start to head uh, to our operation area uh, by ourselves and hope he gets along with the job no, but it's not possible it's not necessary now he got his fix let's see so here we have our fix now and it's a running number uh, you got this uh, position fix that says N1 Charlie uh, and this means it's just the first position fix and the C in the end means it's done by celestial uh, computation if it would be dead reckoning it would be a D so it would say one November 1 D and when you hover over it you get as well an info window with information on when was it taken, so the time and the date, which position position it is, in, uh, which course you had, and which uh, speed you had. So we had course two, three, seven, and we had a speed of two knots. Now we know where we are, and we know where we have to go. Uh, this is the area of our operations, and we should uh, attack a task force in this area. It says. So we will try to steer in that area here. To find out which course that is, you can use uh, the tools that are shown here on the side. Uh, you simply take the ruler for this course. And if you select the ruler and you have this option activated, you will get this nice compass rose around your mouse. And this makes it very easy. You just draw a line here to our operation area you see where the line intersects with the compass rows it shows you which course it is to follow this line or to go that direction uh, we go somewhere here and that would be course of 245 so we draw the line and we take it as a further reference to, uh, to correct our positioning and our course on the way and uh, to set the course you could either click into this uh, tool here below and you get a compass rose and you could set the course by just, by just clicking on it but that's more useful if you are in a combat situation where you have a better view on where to go and what your current course is uh, if you want to have it more precise you would go in just hover the mouse over this tool and then with the mouse wheel you can set the course you wish to go very precisely. So let's set it to two, four, five. Boat auftauchen. Boat auftauchen. Uh, yeah, I don't get two, four, five exactly, course, five, but two, four, seven, seven should be sufficient grad. enough. Uh, and then let's just order them to go standard ahead. And uh, yeah, hopefully he will now go into the right direction. But you see, he's steering now. Two four six. He shows us two four six again. If he is close to the course that you selected, he will show the course. If you select the course uh, and he's in the way of turning to the course, he will show you in this info window still what uh, course you want to go okay that's it <coughs> we are on our way boat is happily steering to its patrol area and uh, now we see how actually uh, the script for the real navigation is working Yeah. 
haben nicht genügend Wasser unter dem Kieler Kalein. So, just look at the map and I will now use time acceleration. And hopefully our navigator will give us uh, position reports on the way. We should follow down this, this line that I have drawn with the ruler. So here now, it's 12 o'clock, he will give us a new, uh, he says he is calculating a new position. And you see, it pops up here. So here we are, that's our position. It's number two, Celestial, yeah, our course that we have at this time and what speed we were going. And he shows you as well the position here down in this window. But it took a half an hour, so you have to be aware of that the Celestial is maybe a bit more demanding. Uh, now two hours later you see he, we have another position report and this now is dead reckoning. It has a D, not a C. It's still fine, we are still on the course and it still looks correct. Next fix should come up at uh, 4 o'clock. You see that we're approaching 4 o'clock and this should be dead reckoning again. And you see, we get a new dead reckoning. And it took him only a minute, so dead reckoning is rather fast. Celestial takes some more time. Next fix should be the 6 o'clock fix, and that should be the celestial fix again. So 6 o'clock is coming up. Let's see. Yeah. This one is dead reckoning again, so probably the next one is maybe a celestial fix, you will see. You see, we are wandering off. The position is uh, we're moving a bit further north than we expected. This could be as well just a problem with the dead reckoning because it's, it's not that precise. Next fix is coming up. Uh, is that you did a eight o'clock fix in the evening? And he's calculating our possession now by celestial. Otherwise, it would say uh, that he's dead reckoning. And you see. I will just uh, stop time acceleration now. You see, we are south, so probably we were going down this line more or less, because we didn't change course, and I don't think that uh, current or wind was so strong that we went down. But you see, just that rattling varies a bit along the way, and celestial fix puts you in a position again. So probably we had this course. It would make sense because this line is two four. Uh, 5 and uh, we have a course of 2-4. Yeah, we should be further north actually, so you see just it's a bit more unprecise and it's important to know because if you are coming back to shore or if you're in areas where you are close to land uh, and there's there's bad weather or it's foggy, you should watch actually, you should go out and uh, help you watch with spotting land because it can hap easily happen that you are to run that you kind of run on shore uh, due to position errors and you're just relying on the fixes you get from the navigator but they're kind of slightly off so you you have to watch out if you are close to shore yeah that's it for this tutorial uh, I will think on what to do next uh, probably see what happens along the campaign now and I at least want to do some some more uh, tutorials on uh, on using the attack disk and various attack techniques that I'm using. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, gave you a nice uh, yeah nice introduction to Silent Hunter 5. And uh, see you next time. Bye.